He's literally armless. Whoa! Hello, welcome to episode 17 of Witch from Mercury. Yeah, um... <laughs> last episode was an absolute banger. The episode before that was a banger. And the episode before that was a banger as well. So, you know, let's let's go for another one. <laughs> At this point, like, I don't know how they can go more hardcore with this show. So, yeah, I'm leaving it open. Like, I have no idea where we're going to be taking this show. There's so many different groups trying to do different things and so much maneuvering going on. I have no idea how this show is going to end. The only thing I can think of is like Selena and Mirene are going to figure something out together and create. Like she's going to break her brainwashing and we're going to figure something out that works for the Earthlings and whatnot. I have no idea <laughs> how we get there, but yeah, there, there's so much shit going on right now. With the whole Earthians versus Spatian stuff. All these different houses have things going on. Prospera, Delling, man. But anyway, enough talking. Let's go ahead and get started. Okay, starting in 3, 2, 1, let's go. Yeah, she wants her to become president. So you become the puppet, huh? her sister actually now she might actually be upset with Selena now because now she is just unabashedly a puppet a brainwashed puppet I mean, she is, literally, and I don't think Mary knows that. Which doesn't look suspicious at all. Oh, and he wants to partner with them. Yeah, there's definitely nothing, that, like, there's definitely no agenda here. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> Why do you want it? About messed you up. Yeah. <laughs> You're just like a creep. You. <laughs> yeah. 
Now he's officially made up for him destroying the place. Finally. <laughs> he has a mission. So his house is going to side with hers. Yes, I see it. I see it. He's so mature and cool now. And a lot of it, his story kind of parallels Marion's in a lot of ways. <laughs> He's so cool. What a ladies man. Ooh, you're one of those precious things he can't lose. Ghoul's so cool. Hell yeah. If I wasn't so on board the Muri train right now, yeah. <laughs> yeah. Figured, but Ghoul's so badass. Like, this isn't one of those weird, like, obnoxious, like, love rivalries. This was, like, so cool. <laughs> Don't make Ghoul lose again! Fuck off! That adds a little bit of drama, in my opinion. Is Saleta going to be okay with that? Yeah. A lot of this centers around the Earth Earthian conflict. Wait a minute, huh? That's not what they just talked about, though. What's... Oh, so they're both going behind Saleta's back on this. They said that openly. So they're going to break her conditioning. So they're going to both be the bad guys to Saleta right now. But they're really trying to think in her best interest. I don't think it's going to work though. I still think Saleta's going to win this. And cut his hair. Ooh, he's moved past his ghoul's pride phase. <laughs> he's a man now. <laughs> I've so got behind, like, Hit Jeturk's house. They're so good. <laughs> they were all, like, the typical bullies at the start, but now they're just good people. <laughs> it was really just their dad that ran it like shit. Yeah, you might need the AI to help you out because you're going through some PTSD stuff right now. It's the last official school duel. I'm sure there's going to be a lot more combat to come, but... Yeah, so what's going to happen? Okay. 
technology-wise, Ghoul's just at a massive disadvantage here. Well, at least he's kind of... I mean, he's always been, like, his own survival first, but... Unless Peel is still in cahoots with him. How's this duel gonna go? I actually don't know where they're going with this here. Like, I can understand the concept of why she would want him to win and take the aerial from her, but... <laughs> he has all the disadvantages right now. He has all of the disadvantages. Equipment, mentality... By the way, I killed Dad. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how you beat this. He's gonna eke out a victory somehow. How is he gonna do it? Everything's just so against him. He's gonna eke out a victory, isn't he? He's literally armless. Whoa! Oh, he didn't go... Okay. I thought he was going to, like, dissect her a bunch of times. Yeah, what's going to happen here? She's turning it against him. It's happy birthday. What just happened? What just happened? Did they sabotage it? <laughs> and Ghoul came through. He got his victory. <laughs> it's cheating, but he got it. <laughs> But hey, he had all sorts of disadvantages. This is all according to plan. Ooh, she's trying to break her, isn't she? Trying to break her off of her. Keep her away from her. Yeah, they're being the bad guys to try and... That's so brutal. Oh! Oh, 
she's being the... She's doing the whole, like, Get away! I hate you, you dumb dog! Doing that whole shtick. Throwing rocks at her. Get out of here, dumb mutt! <laughs> oh, man. Okay, that was episode 17. That was so good. Yeah. <laughs> so far, it's just been, like, 10 out of 10 bangers. All this whole second core... The ending of, like, the first core and this whole second core has all just been 10 out of 10 bangers. This was such a good episode. I, I, I'm I, pretty sure this is, like, this whole thing going on with Meereen. She's purposely trying to break um, Saleta off of her. So she, like, trying to do the hard breakup, right? And make Saleta, like leave her by taking by removing the Ariel out of the equation and her becoming the puppet for her mother she's no longer necessary and that's why she is completely cutting her out by removing herself from the equation entirely so that she can build her school do live her life have a happy life the concept makes sense and I understand why Mirin and, and Ghoul would do this it's not going to work. Like, something's going to happen here where they have to realize where they have to work together. Where Mir or Saleta definitely needs to break her brainwashing. And this is their probably their attempt to try and do that somehow. But, yeah. they Both of these characters have to learn to trust each other more. Um, but they both do need character development to get to that point, I'd say. Mirin's had an insane amount of character development to this point, and I think there's more trust she needs to have in those around her, which is where she's at at this point. And then Saleta needs to break off of being just being a willing puppet to her mother um, before they can hit that point. I think they will reconnect, though, later and after the character development happens. But, man, awesome stuff. Ghoul's so cool. I'm gonna... Okay. At the beginning of the show, I was hoping that Ghoul gets one win. So far, he's had multiple wins. <laughs> Even though he doesn't see killing his dad as a win, I see it as a win because it made his character arc so much more interesting. Um, and then this, I'm gonna give it to him as a win because not on the merits of him beating her in a duel, but in the merits of achieving their plan, right? Of uh, making do on what their strategic plan is. So... But I still want to see more... I want to see a legitimate mech duel with Ghoul beating an opponent on his own without gimmicks, just straight up winning a fight. We'll see if that happens. I hope that happens before the end of the show. But, yeah. I love this whole character dynamic they're doing with the Sleta's mom, or Prospera, Sleta, Mirin, Ghoul... The Earthians. I love this whole group that's now forming of good guys. Ah, they're so cool. Interesting. Some of the villains at this point. Some of the villains that I thought were kind of one note are becoming more interesting. And they're seeming... They're starting to make alliances. Like, not very stable alliances, but they're making alliances with each other. With Grassley and PL House seemingly teaming up on this. So... Awesome. This was a great episode. I'm I don't know where we go from here. Like I want to see how Mir or Saleta's character develops from this. What does she do? She doesn't have the Ariel to carry her out of everything anymore. Everyone's kind of l willingly l or even Saleta's mom. Now that the next phase of the plan, she doesn't really need her anymore. Now what does Saleta do when she's not needed? We saw earlier in the show when. Um, Mirin didn't appreciate her taking care of, like, the fly... Or, she did appreciate, but, like, when it seemed like she didn't trust her to take care of the flowers or whatnot at her... Or the plants at her greenhouse, that severely bothered Saleta. Like, she has some serious confidence issues uh, about her competence and things and being needed. Like, it seems like she needs to have a... She feels like she has to be needed somehow. And now she's purposely been cut off and thrown to face that demon right now so awesome great show love it love it love it um for now 
please like, subscribe, comment. Thank you guys for watching. I really appreciate it. And then you guys have a great one. We'll talk to you again later.